Choose a rare card, huh? Now that said, I do like swapping me a boss relic on the defect. I don't like it doing it so much when you must fight an early elite. We must do that. The Wall of Death. Hmm. Oh, wow. There's also a four elite path. Hmm. If only defect rares were better on average at fighting elites, I might be considering choose a rare here. Uh, a core surge or a seek or a hyper beam could be pretty good. But I'm thinking I might take a, a, a random boss relic. That'll mean giving up our cracked core. Or an electrodynamics. That'd be okay, too. But uh, best odds for beating four elites. We're fighting slime boss, too. And rainbow would be acceptable as well. Hmm. Basic Transform is just fine. Transform one strike. I'm going to do a boss swap. We get a Slaver's Collar during boss and elite fights. We have additional energy. During non-boss and non-elite fights, we get nothing. That definitely would help if we're looking to fight many elites. Now, I don't know that we can necessarily do four of them. That would be this path in red here. Or... Yeah, one, two, three, four. Actually, really happy with the Slaver's Collar. No downside, plus one boss relic. Feels really good. Here in green would be maybe a more reasonable path. Don't want to fight too many basic enemies anyway, with only three energy per turn. Tend to find the defects pretty good at spending energy, so there's always use for more stuff. Could also go for the Burning Elite if we got strong enough. That's another interesting option. I'd have to have good potions to consider Burning Elite <clears throat> instead of going to the shop. Probably we're going to go to the shop and buy a potion if we don't get a good one. Don't think we want to go to this one. Um, yeah, start here. My nemesis. We meet again. I think we're in much better shape this time, though. The Defect starting deck does a lot more damage than the Silent starter deck. Thanks to the power of Zap and Dual Cast, which together do 16 damage for 2 energy. We do get nipped a little bit, though. An acceptable result. We actually would have had enough damage to kill on that turn if it weren't for giving up our starter relic. So consider that a 7 hit point offering to the Jaw Worm to get our boss relic. Hmm. Claw Blizzard Compile Driver. A weird set of three initially. With potential bonus energy in elite fights, I like the idea of the draw from Compile Driver. Although without a starting orb, Compile Driver is pretty sad. Not as sad as Blizzard is, though. Which will do no damage to anybody because we have no Frost Orbs. Claw. Initially a free 3 damage. Scales up as you play more copies of Claw. I don't think that's necessarily that good with the color either. So I'm thinking Compulver, but... It's not great. With limited card rewards available to us here, skipping just not an option. I'm going to grab the Compulver. See what happens. I want to keep this orb around for the Compiled Reverse, so I'm not going to play the dual cast, instead opting to strike twice. 27 health. I think I'll just take the one. Could have gotten away with it. Blocking for the one health, that is. Hmm. Leap is reasonably efficient block, but I also like go for the eyes a lot early on. I don't think I would be wanting to take a consume, although we might have the energy to spend it with a slaver's collar. Before we get any other orbs, it's just too risky of an investment. We also found no potions, which means we can rule out the burning elite. We'll be going to this shop and spending our money probably on a potion. 
I actually like Leap quite a bit here in the early game. It's not exactly good damage, but it's really efficient defense, which is something that the defect can often struggle with. This will also help us in our third easy pool fight. The Mansion Keep. This could be a source of new cards or a curse. Got 12 cards, five match attempts. For your first card, pretty much all positions are equally valid. There's no way of knowing any information here, so there's no first card to click on that's strategically any better than the rest. From there, the rule is basically if you don't want to add the that card that you see to your deck, then don't look at a new card. I actually wouldn't be upset with Double Zap. Uh, not that I have a choice here. You can only click on two cards, and again, there's no no strategy here that's any better than any other. You click on two cards, they might be a match. It's a 1 in 11 chance. You accidentally click and create a match. And there's nothing that you can do to change these odds, really. I usually go for the top two. Let's match opposite corners this time. Static Discharge. That's an interesting card. Thunderstrike. Thunderstrike, Zap, and Static Discharge are all in this set of cards. That's super funny. I don't think Thunderstrike would be very good, but I do want to look at a new card, and I'm willing to risk it here. Beam Cell. Okay. And Parasite. We definitely don't want to look at a new card now. It's this one. There's the other Zap. So do I want a second copy of Zap? Definitively. We must answer the question. I truly think it's yes in this situation. So I'm going to do it. The double zap, and we could add Thunderstrike now that we have double zap. Screw it, let's do it. Thunderstrike is the third card here, right? No, it's not. All right, well, we're not doing it. D Ignore me. Probably for the best anyway, chat. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Ah! Despair fills my heart. What happened here? Ew. Hmm. So we can block for 5, or have a 50% chance of saving 12, which is technically better to go for the 50-50. Because the option is defend, defend, guaranteed take 10, or play zap, defend, strike, 50% chance, take 15, 50% chance, take 3. So an average of take... Nine versus guaranteed take ten. There's also maybe low roll aversion, but I'll take the the mathematically higher value play, and we get there. Good stuff. We also get a potion and a doom and gloom. Perfect. Doom and Gloom is some big area damage that we can upgrade going into the first Elite. It'll make Compile Driver work better. Gives us an orb to work with. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. We're in pretty reasonable shape now. We've almost done well enough. I'd say if we had better potions, I could maybe consider the four Elite line. As it is, I'd rather get the extra upgrade. Um, and visit this store. Although, man, well, this has been a nice store to roll into with a little bit more money. Preserved insect, clockwork souvenir, frozen egg, and apotheosis. All lost to the void, but... Also, if we take a Thunderstrike, Tempest and Ball Lightning are pretty funny here. I think as it is, we're pretty happy just removing a strike. And perhaps buying the attack potion to shore up our matchup in these first two elites. I think that's quite wise. Ah. 
First upgrade, a Doom and Gloom. Would a later shop have the same relics? So if we'd avoided this store and instead gone to a store in Act 2, yes, you would have seen those first three relics there. Indeed. Sleepy Egg Boy. Good fight for Doom and Gloom. Also good fight for Double Zap, actually. Perfect. The egg will sleep for up to three turns. Let's you get your best damage draw into your hand before you commit to waking them up. It's quite nice. Block 19. Uh, I could go zap into dual cast next turn. That doesn't feel like it's actually useful, huh? Won't be enough damage yet. But I will play the Compunctor. It's fine. Okay. I think I will just keep the weak potion in my hand then. Could save five here, but it doesn't feel like enough to actually matter. We got a war paint upgrading two random skills. Come on, zaps. And glacier. Or a second Compulterer. But I think we should take the first Frost Orbs we're being offered. Seems pretty good. Glacier plus. And I think I'd like one of these zaps to be plus, too. So we can get a free lightning orb. <laughs> Dual cast upgrade also worth considering to make the evocation free. But I like being able to get the Compulterer more online easily. Let's upgrade this zap. Double zap upgrade. That would be, uh... That'd be quite a rarity, huh? Like how many... How many times do you think people have upgraded two zaps at the same time? Speaking of upgrading things, now we have a Toxic Egg. Ho, ho, ho. Doom and Gloom turn one should be sufficient to make Gremlin Knob quake in his tiny red booties. Who needs Glacier anyway? All right, dual cast on this turn. Let's see some math. So dual cast now deals 24 damage. We also strike and have a lightning orb. Two lightning orbs and another strike. So we've guaranteed um, 15 next turn. No, 12 next turn, excuse me. 15, counting the Lightning Orb this turn. We Lightning, Lightning, Strike. And this turn we're again doing 24, 33. So we bring them down to 22. We have 12. Probably need to use the Attack Potion to get a kill. We'd also kill with Dual Cast Redraw. Or Doom and Gloom. So I think our turn here is Dual Cast, Strike, Leap. Take just a little bit of damage, and probably use the attack potion next turn. But don't even necessarily need to do that. Getting pretty likely to find a potion, which would imply I should consider using the weak potion now. Or the attack potion earlier this turn. And we're definitely going to find a potion here or here. What's the weak potion now? All right, and the attack potion here. Bonk! How's them for some attacks? No wrong choices. Get a strike dummy. Cards containing the text strike. Deal three additional damage. My thunder strike deck. We do have her fine focus. Defragment gives one focus. There's also a steam barrier plus. Which is kind of tempting, especially on three energy in some fights. 
Probably ought to take the first defragment, defragment that I'm being offered, though. We're past the point of any gremlin knobs, so now we can take as many skills as we want this act, which is pretty exciting. Let's go. Hmm. I think I'd better actually play this, rather than going defend, defend, compel river. I think we should take nine. This guy's quite aggro. If you let the fight last too long, you will regret it. Fun bank. Playing the defragment there doesn't change the damage that Dark Orb does. Cold snap. More orbs? More orbs. Still too early to take a blizzard. Hmm. This is a good speed potion turn. Let's see what Compaldiver draws. Yeah, this is a good speed potion turn. Then I can't glacier. Probably unlikely to kill the thief if I don't play the doom and gloom. So yeah, let's play the doom and gloom. Defend one time, take six. Oh, he does do it. But defrank dual cast cold snap kills. Get offered another cold snap. I think that would be too many. Go for the eyes is takeable. We'd want to upgrade it, but that's fine. Given that we have Toxic Egg, we'll probably have a surplus of upgrades. Or we could happily skip, given that none of these say plus, and the deck is doing just fine. I'm happy to skip these for now. Maybe we'll add a go for the eyes later. But let's give ourselves a chance to maybe find an upgraded one or something. If Compulver River draws the Doom and Gloom, I'll use the Energy Potion. Not too worried about the three sentries. I think this deck will match up really well against them, especially on four energy per turn. <laughs> and especially with Focus. need to use a potion here. Don't feel compelled to. Cold snap, strike, strike. Kill this one. No more stinky... stinky dazes, please. Not too bad. We get ourselves the boot. If we would deal four less unblocked attack damage, make it five. Thunder Strike Plus returns to us. Blessed be. Or, or, we could take the card that blocks for one. I guess there's also Claw. Now, we're really not exactly channeling that many lightning orbs, and we're unlikely to do so anyway. So I actually really do like block for one, and then later block for more than one. Unironically, early genetic this early, act very, very good card. Not too worried about slime boss here. Although maybe, maybe I should be. I'm not. So I'm gonna greedily upgrade a card. Actually, am I? Yes. Which will probably be either Compiled River, Cold Snap, or perhaps the other zap. Don't think I would want to recall here. I'll upgrade the Cold Snap. Like bonus damage on a, an attack I want to play in the late game. Double Lightning Orb turn one. <clears throat> Not as good as Doom and Gloom turn one, but it should be just fine here. Our goal is to do the required 
75 damage in three turns to prevent Slime Boss from splitting us in two. For the Slime Crush. I have to do 25 damage next turn. Uh, I guess we're going to block instead. All right, Skill Potion, what do you got? Force Field. Or an extra power with white noise. Let's go Force Field. Boop. And how about you don't put any more de uh, slimed into my deck, please? Preventing the second bout of five slime is pretty important, in my opinion. Something you definitely want to focus on making happen when you play this fight. Let's see. Knowing which slime to target first can be quite difficult. I like to go for the gray slime first, usually, as it's... Um, it adds, both attacks and adds slimes at the same time, which can be really, really cumbersome. You want to get those not happening as quickly as you can. Yeah, let's just prevent that. Good. Four energy per turn is pretty comfy here, thankfully. Doom and Gloom. Get them. Just five. Let's take a moment to clean myself off here. Excuse me. And back to the action. Alright, glad I just didn't decide to rest there. I, I figured we'd be okay for uh, turn three. Turns out we had to use a skill potion, but it worked out beautifully. My, my. There's some cards for us. Bias Cognition, the most powerful of the focus cards, is indeed here, and always welcome in a deck with lots of orbs. There's also Electrodynamics to let us use our lightning orbs to strike all enemies. Or an upgraded multicast to evoke an orb many, many times. Pretty hard for me to turn down a bias cognition here. Got ready access to frost. Lots of time to find a way to keep the focus. And even if we don't, it's a super powerful effect in general. I'm definitely the type who trends towards uh, bias cog when offered. I think it's just such a strong card. But if we find an Electro from here... Oh man. Fusion Hammer, Pandora's Box, or Empty Cage. I have um, Toxic Egg, so this is a really easy P-Box. Any skills we get from the Transforms will be upgraded. We get to get rid of all the Strikes and Defends. And whatever deck we're left with could be exceedingly, exceedingly powerful. like that a lot more than simply removing two cards. And as much as good as energy would be, I don't think it's all that good when we're still drawing strikes and defends. So, let's see what the Pandora's box contains. One, two, three, four, five upgraded cards, plus a storm and a meteor strike. This is definitely uh, definitely the, the thunder strike deck, but we do have meteor strike dummy synergy. Not the deck I wanted, but it's the deck we deserve. I'm quite happy with all of this, including that force field plus. Tempest is pretty juicy too. So, are we actually good at fighting elites? Deeply unclear. Oh, we'll be good at fighting these three. Late in the act, easy pickings. Could maybe go for four. I think I'd rather go to an early shop here. Look for Panacea or similar. Maybe just remove a card. 
hilariously would now remove the unupgraded zap. Don't think on that too hard. We get lots of card rewards too. Energy. Uh, chaos first? Sure. Triple darkness. The darkest defect of them all. Might as well. And now for some lightning. Didn't get to play my algorithm, but I'm okay with that. Claw Plus. I'm sorry, Claw Plus. The boot doesn't buff you, therefore I don't want you. Here's an apotheosis. Do we actually want such a thing? I don't think so. Now, Recursion Plus? That's actually something I could really get behind, as is Cool Headed Plus on sale. No way to gain Artifact here. There's also Frozen Eye, letting us see the draw pile in order, which can be very, very valuable. With such a perfect price, too. Yeah, with Cool Headed Recursion, I could remove as well the Zap. Poor Zap. Huh. If I could afford Frozen Eye here, I would do that instead. I'm sorry, Zap. Any reason the creative eye is not in the running? We already essentially have a way to scale up enough for longer term fights, I think. We have the bias cognition and the defragment. It's going to give us enough focus, and we can generate a whole bunch of lightning orbs. We aren't facing any fight anywhere in the immediate future that's going to require this as a long-term plan. Maybe for the Act 3 bosses in the heart, but right now we have lots and lots of time to answer those questions, and more immediately need to deal with elites in Act 2, against which this creative AI is not going to help at all, spending too much energy up front to get not enough done. Could Meteor Strike with the Energy Potion here? Don't necessarily need to. May want to keep this potion for later, because it could be more valuable in a later elite fight. And I think we'll be fine. So I'm just going to go like this. Hey there, Katonic. I did actually consider rewriting today's title because uh, touching on the subject of mental in illness isn't something to necessarily do lightly. I agree it is a serious condition. And know that I, I'm not intending to make light of people or their conditions here in the stream. So I hope that people will see it with a, a light-hearted look. But I, I did consider that, and I do acknowledge that. Travis, thanks for 19 months of support. Much appreciated. How about here? Do I get to... I should probably play the algorithm. Let's do that. So is it Defrag Compiler or is it Doom and Gloom? I think it's Doom and Gloom. Is Aggregate Tempest sufficient to kill? That is the question. That would be five lightning orbs. So we deal 10 plus 15. And then evoke two more. So uh, 10, 10, 10, 15, followed by five times three. What is that? 
15 plus 15 plus 30. 60 damage. Insufficient. So I should probably cool headed instead. Realistically need this fight to be over now. And it essentially is. Good. Even though we draw five days, we win. I'll take it. Hmm, actually charge battery looking pretty good. We don't have a whole lot of upfront block and we would like more energy generation. Double Tempest, entertaining, not necessarily actually good. Go with the battery here. Hey, look at that, battery paying off immediately here. Letting me go, auto shields, battery. And then either cold snap or defrag. Let's go defrag. Perfect, so we can cool headed. Glacier. Recursion, storm. Block like crazy, easy. Get this nerd out of here. And now, it is lightning time. I also would appreciate uh, if we moved on to a different subject of conversation than how specifically appropriate our title is or hypothetical jokes that we're not even making are or are not. And instead focus on the current gameplay and run. We're here to chill out, have a cozy time and have fun. While making terrible wordplay jokes constantly. No more, no less. We could still find a... We didn't see Chemex in a, in a shop yet, did we? No, we saw Clockwork Souvenir. I'm pretty willing to pick up a Reinforced Body Plus for later on. Um, let's see. Do I want a Fear Potion or a Weak Potion? I think I want the Fear Potion for more damage going into an Elite Fight here in Act 2. Womp womp. Too much block, not enough, not block. On this turn one. Could lead to a bit of a tricky situation for us. Oof. Indeed. Uh, I think this might be where the energy potion comes in. That would let me Meteor Strike, Recursion, Zap, Tempest. Should be mighty spicy indeed. Although that doesn't even necessarily kill any of them. Hmm. But do we have a choice? Could also Meteor Strike after the Tempest. Or, er, but, uh, no. That's not how it works. We could go Zap, Recursion, Energy Potion, Meteor Strike, don't play the Tempest. Don't know if that's a great idea. How is there a leap in the deck? We took it on purpose. I think it's a perfectly reasonable card early game for Defect. Very efficient block. It's not bad at all. Summon the lightning. Yeah, I didn't manage to kill any of them. Ouch. We at least did a lot of damage. If only Thunderstrike were here. Thunderstrike would know what to do. Man, this is getting bad. Do have Storm, so playing Biased is even more encouraged, yeah. Perfect. Play this, take some damage, next turn we're fine, okay. Sounds good. I'm okay resting at one of these fires, that's completely fine. Our deck is basically entirely upgraded anyway. No problem.
Bonk. That was fun. Hollow plus, Steam Barrier plus, or Force Field plus. Feels like this deck needs a hologram. Hologram Recursion, Hologram Meteor Strike. So many good things to hologram. I'll take it. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a schnooze, especially now that we no longer have an energy potion. Feels like a few more hit points is better than upgrading. I guess bias cog's a pretty good upgrade. I'll do that here if I don't need to rest again. But I'd like to have more than 34 health. 34 is exactly the amount of damage the three slavers can do on one turn. On turn one, specifically. So having more than exactly that much health is a pretty good idea. That said, I'm going to fight the Red Mass Gang. We're going to get our hands on their Red Mask technology. Assuming we win this fight, we might actually just die. That'd be fun. And then we'll be able to apply weakness to all enemies on turn one. Whether they like it or not. I think we want to try to kill Bear first, of the three. Hmm. Definitely need to play this Chaos. Do we'll cast a Frost and then do it? Yes. Good luck to us. Say that worked out, actually. So, what can I hologram that helps me here? Oh, I see. I can hologram Glacier. Play Glacier Cold Snap, then play Bias Cognition. Or I can play Bias Cognition, hologram Glacier, because Bias Cog channels a lightning orb. That's better, actually. So, Bias Cognition, Hologram Glacier. Perfect. And then I can Cold Snap Charge Battery. Could also Cold Snap, Hologram Recursion, go Reinforce Body here. I don't think that's going to be enough block, though. If it hits pointy, it'll kill. That'd be nice, actually. Okay. Looks like Doom and Gloom will do some good work next turn. This is not a full block. Not even close, actually. Ow. My face. The hit points we lose are well worth it. We get the red mask, making enemies weak on turn one, which will save us health here and probably here, too. And we're offered a rebound plus, allowing us to put a specific card back on top of the deck, which I think actually has a lot of use. It's also a decent damage card, which we're lacking a little bit. So I'll take that. I've really been liking rebound on my defect runs lately. Hmm, this is not what we wanted to see, although we do appreciate the weakness here. Get to play Aggregate, Storm, Bias, Leap, Force Field, but that Aggregate energy not doing much. This looks a bit better. Definitely need the Red Slaver to die post haste, so I think a Fear Potion here is probably warranted. Cold Snap. Then Compile River, then Think. Just rebound. Interesting. So if the Recursion hits the Red Slaver, or if I dual cast, I've got an even better chance. We can kill with the rebound. So I could dual cast, then rebound recursion, for example. 
Juanito Takaito, thanks for eight months of support. Avoiding vulnerable here would be really, 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 really helpful. So again, our best chance to do that is to dual cast right now. Or rebound and then dual cast, but I don't want to rebound the dual cast. Okay, so dual cast first. We got him, thank goodness. Just in time. So let's go Recursion, Doom and Gloom Glacier. Get that dark up in front. Hologram, dual cast would actually kill the middle guy. I'll do that. No more stinky wounds for me, please. Play algorithm next turn. This has gone pretty well, all things considered. Get a letter opener, letting us do damage by playing three skills in one turn. Another algorithm, still upgraded, so this one will grow to be sufficiently large, just as the first one. Honestly, I don't know that we want another one, though. We're already pretty heavy on blocks. Only eight health lost, although we did spend the fear potion, and it ended up mattering in a huge way. Was there a no way to know that dual cast would hit the middle guy? No, there was not. Oh, oh, sorry, with the Dark Orb. Yes, yes, with the Dark Orbs, because Dark Orbs target the lowest health enemy always. It's actually a property of Dark here. See the Dark keyword. Increase damage every turn. When evoked, deal damage to the enemy with the least HP. Dark Orbs are not random like Lightning Orbs. And that's the secret to effective Dark Orb use. I don't think I want any of these. I think we're going to be okay. Don't think I'm going to upgrade Biased yet, though. I think I'm going to rest again. Egg? Molten egg? Sure. We've actually seen the third egg already, so we know we're not getting that one. But being able to add upgraded attacks as well could lead to some substantial improvements in this deck here and there. What am I rebounding? Reinforced or Zap? Zap actually sounds really good. Letter opener will help out here and there. Wherever it can, really. Lightning! Aggregate looking pretty sad here. So Hollow Reinforced gets me decent block. Decent, but not good. Install for another turn. Any other decent options? No. Get in there, letter opener. Either Glacier or Doom and Gloom. I'm gonna run out of damage pretty quick if I Glacier, huh? But I do get Defrag next turn. Hmm. I think we might need this. Dang, 
feel like that was avoidable. There's the upgraded go for the eyes. I knew we could wait. I knew it. Storm. Pretty good turn one. I do say so myself. Time for the zip zaps. Vision Plus. Evoke all of your orbs, gaining one energy and one draw for each orb evoked. That's pretty spicy. That's really spicy. I'm also somewhat tempted by Overclock Plus, also providing more reliable draw. But I think we have so much orb generation, this vision is pretty incredible. Heat Sinks. Also pretty tempting. That's another good source of card draw. In a deck like this, can't quite do Heat Sink's card remove. What would I even remove? Like, Leap is almost our worst card? We're fine. Could maybe remove Meat. No, I would never remove Meteor Strike. It's quite useful. So, yeah, Heat Sink's looking pretty good. We could take one of these relics instead Lantern to give us more energy turn one, no matter the opponent. Bronze Scales for three thorns, helping against Heart. Sling of Courage for a bit of oomph against elites. All reasonable, quite frankly. Really like Heat Sinks for the long term. Um, especially with an aggregate in this deck. And I also like picking up a Swift Potion for this upcoming elite. That's what I'm going to do. Heat Sinks Swift Potion. Get all the card draw that I can as we go into difficult fights. That already looks like a good enough reason to use the Swift Potion to me. Although we aggregate first, of course. Perfect. Now that's a better turn. So, rebound the hologram. Rebound on you, I guess. Six focus. There's going to be 14 each. Yeah, rebound you. Play hologram. Use hologram to get aggregate back into my hand. Hologram is now the top part of the deck. Play aggregate again. Go to 10 energy. Play tempest. And blip blap. Might have wanted to play the uh, algorithm there, but we didn't. We instead destroyed the elite fight and got another copy of Heat Sinks. Also, a Blizzard Plus, which is actually pretty okay here. I want more Heat Sinks. More, I tell you. And I want to upgrade my bias before the bronze tomato. We should be fine in that fight. Not too worried here. Although you never know. Certainly a stinky turn one here. This would have been another good use for the Swift Potion. We'll be okay. Get good block from the Orichalcum at least. This is fine, this is fine. You're biased. I 
brings you to five. I want to kill this one next turn. So while I could do it now with Letter Opener, I want Meteor Strike to get into my hand when I can play it. It's going to be after Fission. Perfect. I could even rebound the Meteor Strike. Hmm. Interesting. Dual cast would put me to five energy, so they could, I could then play the Meteor Strike and get two energy back again. Okay. Tempest would give me six energy to spend. I'll play auto shields to do this. All right, good turn. Hyper Beam is next turn, though, so we need an answer to that. Looks like we're drawing one, so as long as I don't draw any cards this turn, this is perfect. We play Force Field, Genetic, Reinforced, Recursion happens too, why not? Easy. Actually, let's just dual cast this right now. So don't play this Heat Sinks, because the Heat Sinks would draw a card, and if I draw any of these cards, I might miss the algorithm. Hundred and one, how's that for some block? Now that we are losing focus, so we're actually getting weaker as time goes on. As long as we can win, that's still fine. GG. Amplify plus. This deck definitely has a lot of power, especially with two heat sinks in it now. Amplify would let us play the next two powers twice and give us good reason to pick up more powers from here. There's also multicast, letting us multi evoke. That's quite abusable as well, particularly with the plasma orbs of the meteor strike. Hmm, both are very good, actually. The more holograms I get, the better multicast becomes. I actually really like this multicast. Would I take Pyramid with this tech? Oh yeah, definitely. Especially with a with either of these upgraded skills. I think I'm gonna go with the multicast because we have the plasma to abuse, but we don't get what we're looking for. Instead, we get offered Cursed Key, Calling Bell, and Sacred Bark. Cursed Key would be enough energy to outright play the Meteor Strike in certain fights. And I think with an X cost card, just habitually having more energy is very good. We'll have to open a chest in Act 3 here to get the blue key, so we'll guaranteed get a curse from this thing, which could be quite bad. Especially since we don't have the green key, we might end up forced on a path where we end up stuck with a normality or something similar. A normality or pain through the Act 3 bosses. That could be really, really bad for us. Whereas Calling Bell gives us three relics immediately and an unremovable curse, but only a minor curse. I think we probably want this key. But we're going to have to hope it doesn't really, really hurt us. Oh, look at that placement. We get to 
shop right after the chest, after getting the Burning Elite. Easy. No problem at all. No problem at all. Take one event? Sure. It's actually better to Orichalcum than it is to play the Hologram. Oh, thank you there, Faley. Didn't upgrade the title either. Hmm. So is it just Tempest or is it Doom and Gloom Tempest? I guess we can do math to determine the answer. Two energy on Tempest deals um, 16 damage. Two energy on Doom and Gloom deals 20 damage. Oh, good. There we go. Could have multicast to activate letter opener there, maybe you should have. Nothing else to do. Okay, not a bad fight. Get offered another recursion plus. Don't think we want that necessarily. Don't quite have the card draw. I have two heat sinks. I actually do want this. Did I hear about the circus that had a fire? It was intense. How's it going, DJ Funky Muffins? Welcome. Welcome. Already doing your best to blend right in, I can see it. Let's go shield, storm, zap. Tempest. Then vision. Blip, blap, bloop. Double your heat sinks, double your fun. And hologram is that. We will do the damage. As much of the damage as humanly necessary. We're guaranteed to kill if I play the Glacier, because we do eight damage, no, sorry, six damage to the enemy with the lowest health, which is gonna be the Exploder, and then five from the letter opener. So this is a guaranteed kill, actually. Plus, I like a lot, actually, for its ability to supercharge Dark Orbs, which then become exceedingly deadly with the multicast. It's also more reliable orb generation. Given that we have a Fission, that sounds good, too. Chance for a curse? No thank you. I've already got one headed my way. Thanks for the money, though. The Maw. But not yet the Paw. big fish. It's a pretty variable attack pattern. They can attack for 30 on turn 2, but they can also attack for just 5. It's really up to them all what they choose to do. Okay. 
Go auto shields, then fission? Yes. And now for the juggling of dark orbs. Just get to darkness, don't get to doom and gloom. So darkness, recursion, recursion. Yeah. deck is beginning to shine. Do we need another go for the eyes? I don't think so. Another recursion? I also don't think so. We have two currently. Just mostly need upgraded uh, heat sinks. Feels like. You ask me, that's what we need. Two spikers. So I have to take 14 return damage to play Glacier. Not gonna happen. Bound. We'll kill the middle guy. Let's go auto shields fission. Suspected that might happen. Wait, if you multicast with no orb, it doesn't cost your energy? Is that what I just saw? Interesting. I guess I wouldn't try that very often, but makes sense. Eighty. Should be fine. That's right, you can't evoke what's not there. I guess. That's a pretty good potion for us. Double energy plus and chill plus are also both kind of crazy cool. Really need more card draw. I'm missing the skim plus for this deck. I don't think a third heat sinks is appropriate, is it? Maybe it is. We just keep adding more of them. Hmm. Keep taking them. And we're gonna upgrade one of them. So now we can draw up to four cards per power played, and we're very likely to get heat sinks down early in the fight. That's the kind of goal here, anyway. Will we actually succeed? That remains to be seen. Starting to look like yes. We will succeed. Yeah, talk about a good turn one, hey? I want to do that afterwards. Fission algorithm is sufficient here. storm. Is 
Stack's looking pretty sweet. Compulderver's draw. Chill plus is interesting. Take another Compulderver. I'll recall here. We have to open this chest and take the blue key. There'll be two relics inside. Oddly smooth stone for one dexterity. And the white beast statue, which we won't be taking. Get a doubt. We could keep the doubt if we wanted to, but with this much money, I'm pretty happy going to a store. Yeah, not the world's worst dream catcher with uh, two eggs. However... Forget the dream catcher. Check this store out. Ice cream is here. But also, Panacea Plus is here. And Curse Removal is here. And we can only take... One of those things. Can't take the ice cream and the Panacea. Or the ice cream and the card removal. It's also another multicast. And yet another Heat Sinks. Personally, I'm thinking Panacea and the card removal. If I can keep focus from turn to turn, we're going to be in really good shape. Might even buy another heat sinks here. <laughs> Just kind of confirm my own theory that there's no such thing as too many of this card. Even against the Awakened One. Though I might have a weird time against Awakened One. We're not fighting Awakened One first, so pretty tempting. I'd like to be able to afford a relic in the next shop, though. Gonna gain 30, 75 gold on average. So I should not buy this if I want to be able to afford the relic in the last shop. Very well. I also might choose to go an extra fire over the elites. What would I upgrade? Got heat sinks I can upgrade. I guess upgrades aren't that important, probably. Good start, good start. We can do charge battery, hologram charge battery. Well, it seems like we're probably better off with charge battery glacier. Hologram. A zap. Play a tempest. Better. M -m -m multicast. for a second. Another Meteor Strike, this one upgraded and with Strike Dummy. The ultimate strike. Got so much card draw and multicast, I think another Meteor Strike is actually very breakable for us. I'll take it. And yeah, we'll go for another Elite. Why not? Play a power, draw a billion. That's the name of the game. Maybe didn't want to do that so early in this fight, but here we are. 
I'm sure it'll be fine. Winky face. Never not been fine. Yeah, easy. Definitely never not been fine. So I could go Meteor Strike, Multicast. Or I can Hologram Aggregate, Multicast. That might even be better. This is now 11 times 10. That's just a kill. I'll take it. Bang. Yoink. Two holograms are better than one, as they say. I think that's what they say, right? I'm sure it is. It's fired. Don't need another battery. Hey, Lance Bro. Lance Bro says, thanks for all the amazing content. I've watched almost every video you put on in the last four months and watch your VODs. Because your content, I was able to recently get an 820 run on your main, The Defect. With double echo form apparition, Strange Spoon. Yes. We had uh, we had a Strange Spoon apparition runs yesterday. It was a, a total blast. On Ironclad. Always thrilled to hear about uh, success stories with that relic. It's so fun. Too fun. Way too fun. All right, Tempest gives me two more energy to spend, so I could Storm and Rebound, or even Storm and Darkness and then Rebound. Definitely want to play Storm. Let's just Rebound here. All right, not my favorite turn. What order do I want the orbs to go in here? Glacier, Defrag, Doom? Gets me a Frost Orb Evoke. Or I could evoke the Dark Orb. We do 14 plus 5 plus 6. Yeah, if we evoke the Dark Orb, we'll kill another dagger, actually. Let's do that. It should be... Doom and Gloom. Defragment, Glacier. Nice, got them all. Take two. I can do from here. Let's get another compile. Bonk. Get gold plated cables. Our rightmost orb triggers its ability in extra time. That's huge. Recycle Plus and Core Surge Plus, also huge deals. The Recycle lets me get rid of unwanted cards in the deck, slowly exhausting down to a desired subset, potentially letting us go infinite. Or the Core Surge gives us another way to keep the focus from the bias cognition. Recycle is also another energy generating card and works on X cost cards. Oh yeah, we should take this Recycle. We should take this Recycle. And I'm going to rest. One, we want the hit points. Two, we want another card reward. That might contain another rare. Or another reinforced body plus. Or another defrag power. That's also very good with all these heat sinks. Let's take this. Of course, we draw it on turn one. That could be bad. 
but who gives a heck? Thanks for the draw three, nerd. Easy. Get the dark orbs going. We lose some focus for this, uh, some plasma for this, rather, but the front dark orb is going to supercharge. So let's set up a multicast for ourselves if we can. Not this one, not yet. Let's go Recursion, Glacier, Heat Sinks. Play three, leave us two cards next turn. Dark Orb continues to charge. And now I think Auto Shield's Charge Battery is our best line here. Block as much as we can, continue to let this Dark Orb grow. And we set up for a kill pretty soon. Looks like we'll have to cash in the Dark Orb now. That's fine with me. And as long as they don't play any other cards, we get to have Orichalcum help us, along with, along with the gold-plated cable. So we get 18 block here. Four Frost Orbs, plus six from Orichalcum. Hurts a bit, though. We do get Bias Cog in play with no fuss. And that's going to help make this fight a lot easier now. Um, so, what's our line? We'd like to charge a Dark Orb up again, if possible. So let us try to do that. Otherwise, not play too many cards. Want a storm? It's so okay just playing two cards next turn. We're below half after all. We like this to go. I want that dark orb in front, and then I want multicast. Also, recycle the meteor strike if I wished. Doesn't seem like I do wish. Damage or not? I guess not. But you're making life quite difficult on me, Mr. Tameter. Perish. GG. All right, not too many hit points lost there. Our second opponent is the Awakened One. Now, this is a bit of a scary fight for us. As the Awakened One will gain strength with every power card we play, and boy, howdy, do we have a lot of power cards. So that's a bit spooky and all. May need to use the speed potion to survive this fight. It's all going to depend on the draws, which are so far abysmal. Uh oh. Abysmal. 
I even have to play this bias, don't I? Hmm. to be 52. Right, I'll technically live, but ouch. So dual cast, then darkness. Wait, the darkness orb gets bonus supercharged. All the way down to eight health, and we seem to be pretty dead. My block cards. That truly is a shame. I guess we... It's either Meteor Strike, Recursion, Compulver, or just Compulver. I only have one energy. So I should Compulver first. But if I do that, I can't kill the birds, right? No, it's got to be Meteor Strike Recursion Compulver. Actually, will that even suffice? Yes, this one. Alive! Easy, all right. Top deck the algorithm. No problem. We're not dead yet. Easy. And how dare you think otherwise? Hmm. Let's see, multicast, 13, 26, 13 times 27, we could actually kill, right? 13 times 26, 338 damage, yeah, I can actually kill the Awaken one, phase one, right now. But I won't have any energy left at the end. Hmm. Frostorb would be in front, but it's not enough block on its own. What's my passive block if I play Glacier here? 7 times 4 plus 6. If we can get Go for the Eyes down, we'll passively block. I don't think I need to risk anything right now. Instead, what I should be doing is getting rid of cards that I'm not going to play, like this Heat Sinks. Locking in. Yes, rebound this. Don't play the heat sinks of the fission yet. Slow and steady. Do I play this one? I don't think so. Not yet.
podcast coming up. I could recursion this Dark Order. Maybe I should. Let's do it. All right, now we can use this to kill the Awakened One. And now I can play all the remaining powers. Okay, I think we're okay here. I think we live Twitch chat. I think we managed to make it happen. Don't get fooled into playing Meteor Strike here, though. We need the Frost to live for now. So we get 30 block. We're fine. No need to dual casts. I'm not gonna destroy that Meteor Strike, actually. Actually, I'm gonna play this instead. Like it might have been. Fifteen plus sixteen plus this. Yeah, that's enough. Also got card draw that I felt forgot about. Okay, safer here. Bit of a precarious position, you might see. Kasao, thanks for four months, months plus plus. Heck yeah. Boost the power. Should be only a single hit this turn, right? No, it's another multi-hit. That's fine. I'm not afraid of nothing. back on top, please, and thank you. More darkness. Now die. All right, Twitch chat, we actually survived to act four. I thought we were about to die during that Awaken 1 fight, but we pulled through and we're on to act four. With 221 gold, enough to buy any relic in the shop. We're also going to take another rest and look for more upgraded cards with the Dreamcatcher, since we're missing so many hit points here. Another go for the eyes, another chill. I think the one go for the eyes should be sufficient. Well, maybe not. You know what, let's make it two. Gotta get through Artifact against Heart and all that. Ooh, I love Capacitor. Stack definitely wants more orb slots. Calipers would be nice, but out of our price range. Another cool-headed looking very good as well. And I'd like to buy a Gambler's Brew. Oh yeah, so it's going to be Capacitor, Cool-Headed Gambler's Brew, for sure. Completely okay with that. Yeah, that'll work. Why, hello there! Hologram the Meteor Strike. Hologram the Compulsor. Keep going. Hmm. 
more. Okay. Draw three? Sure. Here's where the Gambler's Brew could come in handy if I want to end this fight really decisively. I could try to do so now. I'm also okay just playing Defrag, re, uh, Doom and Gloom, Double Recursion, play all the skills, get a whole bunch of damage in. Yeah, I didn't draw a single one of our heat sinks. Probably better to use the Gambler's Brew next turn. Since we'll have two burns and some other cards that we don't necessarily want. If only we had the calipers, man. I agree, it does feel a bit passive to make that our turn. Perhaps we're better off gambling six or so. Be powerful against heart, but you know what? I think having health into the heart is going to be a wise choice. Actually, discard everything. Here we go. Plasma, got it. Casting a Dark Orb won't do much this turn. Let's not bother. This looks a lot better. For that, we get the Fossilized Helix blocking the first instance of damage the heart would deal to us. Could take a fusion here for another Plasma Orb, or we could say 41 cards is enough. Please stop adding cards to your deck, Baylor. And that sounds pretty reasonable, too. I'm convinced. Question is, will we be able to preserve the Helix, or do we have to take Beat of Death damage turn one? That's going to be a tricky question. Thankfully, Auto Shields is here, so we don't. Question is, do I blindly play Biased on turn one? I think I do, because the Panacea will still block two turns of focus down, and I'm going to need the immediate focus for sure. So I think we should play it. Or I could hologram it. Actually, we can hologram it. And I can do Heat Sinks, Chaos, Doom, and Gloom. That makes more sense. So, do we want the Dark Orb multi charging? Yes. Doom and Gloom, Chaos, Heat Sinks. Nice. Big hit first. Heck yeah. Ooh, can't play Meteor Strike if I want to buffer this hit, so uh, we're not playing Meteor Strike. But I will do Charge Battery. Heat Sinks. Darkness Plus to further empower all of these Dark Orbs. And I think we should play the Dual Cast, dealing 65 damage. 30 times 2 plus 5. Then Aura Calcum activates. The buffer stops the hit. And I think we have pretty good odds here, Twitch chat. Especially with genetic algorithm showing up on this turn. And multicast to let me do a lot of damage as well. Glacier, then multicast, then zap.
really good start. Now we can take Beat of Death with no concerns. Start with Aggregate, put us to 11 energy. It's going to be a good Meteor Strike this turn. Heat Sinks to draw three. Vision draws five. Then I can play the Meteor Strike? Sure. Here we go. Recycle, still in the draw pile. Got it. Really want to rebound the recycle. Okay, we'll have to take some more beat of death here. There it is. Could even rebound the hologram. Let's get rid of some of these stinky statuses. Still more to draw, but the heat sinks will see to that. So we should hologram aggregate so we can keep this turn going. And probably the bias cog. Of course. So we go. Bias first. I'll recursion this. So let's go force field, recursion, gain more orb slots, gain all the energy in the world, 10 energy now, draw more cards, block an energy next turn, get rid of this, draw more cards, and the turn keeps going. Look at this beautiful set of orbs. Multicast to get more energy. Hit the damage camp of heart now. But there's still cause to keep the turn going. There's the recycle. Okay, let's get rid of a couple unwanted things here. Auto shields, you're out. Unupgraded zap, I think you're also out. Or upgraded zap, rather. You need to go as well. in front. Cool. Keep this Tempest. Alright, good turn. Amazing turn, in fact. Truly an absurd turn. What do we want to do here? Double Recursion Darkness Reinforced. Looks like a good Hollow the Compile Driver. In fact, better yet, Leap, Rebound, Hologram. Hologram, Compiled River. Compiled River draw three, including the Hologram. This is why we take Rebound. It's such a good card. Now we can do that again. Wish I can get cool headed, even better.
Nice try, Mr. Hart. Definitely glad we didn't play the Biased on turn one. I think that would have ended up being a pretty big mistake. Good for us. Let's go Darkness. Dual cast that Dark Orb. Then just draw more. And if we cool headed in turn, we just take. We actually only take one if I in turn right now. I think I want to put you below 200 health though. Let's go cool headed recursion. Recursion. Meteor strike. Go for the eyes. Get rid of this. Easy. That way we can kill the heart on this turn with any decent draw. Heck, Tempest Plus might be sufficient. Go! GG, Mr. Hart. GG. Wow. Hey there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.